Hi, I'm Rich Miller from Data Center Knowledge, and we're here at the Data Center World Show in Orlando, Florida, and we're visiting today with Perkay Labs. So uh, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about the, your company and what it does. Hi, Rich. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I'm Indra Purkeyasta from Purkey Labs, and this is a product that we have developed called Audit Buddy that you can see over here. This is really the friend of the IT slash facilities manager, and we are really designed this product to measure temperature and humidity in places where a customer may not have coverage with their BAS or DCIM system. So these, they could use this to collect temperature and humidity samples over time, over a long period of time to analyze a hotspot or generate thermal trend data. So it would generate a real-time CFD equivalent data very easily. But the whole idea is this product is designed so it's portable, battery powered, and as you can see, I can pick this thing up and move it around. Very light. And what you see in the product is three sensors here with a carbon fiber rod. Each sensor here collects temperature and humidity independently of each other. And to make the product very simple, we collect the data and transfer the data using a USB stick right here and and the data then is transferred into Excel so you don't really need to learn a computer program to operate this unit you just take it into Excel and then analyze it using an Excel macro that we supply and I'll just show you a few other things about the product itself so you can see the display here and a very simple keypad here. One of the most interesting things that we have here is a fan that brings the air into the unit. So rather than waiting for this unit to reach the thermal ambient, the fan brings the air into the unit to collect the temperature and humidity. So you really don't have to wait for uh, a long time for, to, to measure the temperature or humidity. And I'm just going to do a, a scan. This is a long scan. And I'm just going to set the set points, so temperature units. And then you can set the limits for what you want to set the trend data to for ASHRAE limits or user-defined limits. And so here we have set it as 49 degrees as low and high of 90. Likewise for hum humidity. And then Basically, you press the button to say how often do you want to sample and what the caution bands are and how long you want the run to go and basically press the button and now it's collecting data. And you, this is a demo unit, but you might be able to see the fans turn here to collect the data for every sample. And the, and the benefit of the fan, again, is to get the data into the unit, air into the unit faster than normal. And we also have these indicators here, which will bring red, green, or yellow, depending on the air quality. So this is really useful for walk-through inspections, where a facility engineer may just set this thing up to collect data. And rather than coming and pushing a button, you look at the lights to know whether the air quality has changed over time. Okay. So you mentioned a, a CFD capability. How does that work? So the CFD capability is very interesting. We have a mode called Quick Scan, where in this plot, if you can see, it's oriented by a server family in an aisle, and you collect the temperature in front of one rack, and then the next rack at one minute interval. So you collect, so for example, for a 20 aisle rack, a 20 rack aisle, it might take you 20, 40 minutes to collect the data, and once you've collected the data, you generate with the Excel macro. We provide an Excel macro that you enter the data as well as the vertical and the horizontal dimensions of where you took the measurements. And once you do that, a CSV file is generated from the macro which you then 
sent to us and we use a parting program to generate this back to the customer. So effectively this is a very inexpensive way to get what I would call the real-time CFD data. Or it's really the contour map of the thermal profile in front of the server. And, and folks can use that to decide whether they want to invest on a DCIM system or not. And so this is really a very inexpensive way for the customer to get the data before they invest in a huge system. Okay, well listen, thank you so much for taking a couple of minutes to show me your technology. Thank you.